A patient today asked about lithium and its use for mood disorders. Lithium is a element. Its atomic number is three. It's right there front and center on the periodic table of elements. And I'll actually have patients who will say to me that they really want to take natural supplements or natural medications and that lithium is one of the only medications that they would consider for that reason. Lithium has been used since about 1948 or 1949 when it was discovered by John Kane, an Australian psychiatrist, when he was doing some experiments with guinea pigs um, um, and um, had a hypothesis about um, the mentally ill and, and urate and uric acid um, being in higher concentrations in the mentally ill and in the mentally ill's urine. And he was using lithium um, with some of these experiments on guinea pigs to support his hypothesis because lithium is an extremely cheap base. But anyway, lithium has been found since then to be rather effective and it's FDA approved for bipolar maintenance. So when someone has bipolar disorder and they're in a, um, they're not in a depression, they're not in a mania, they're in a, a normal healthy mood state, lithium can prevent them from falling into a depression or from moving to a mania or hypomania or mixed state. It can also be used if someone is already in a mania or mixed state or hypomania to bring them back down to a euthymic or um, even mood state. Lithium is also used not just in bipolar disorder, but in unipolar depression. Unipolar depression means that individuals have their normal mood state and then they have the vulnerability to fall into a uh, episodic depression. So even when individuals do not have bipolar disorder, but have major depressive disorder, for example, lithium may treat and also prevent depressions for those individuals as well. And one of the nice things about lithium for a provider and also for patients too, is that we know that lithium works for patients between certain blood levels. So in general, we know what blood levels of the medication to shoot for when prescribing it for a patient, and we can titrate doses of medication to get to these certain blood levels. Once a patient becomes well from lithium, we know that in the future, if they are to restart or to um, need lithium again, we know what blood level worked for them in the past, and so that'll help to dictate what amount of medication we'll start at or what, um, uh, what blood concentration we'll shoot for uh, to get them well when using that same medication. For major depressive disorder, lithium um, ranges, you tend to, to look for a range of about 0 0.4 nanograms per milliliter um, to 0 0.6 for a major depression augmentation, so adding lithium to a primary antidepressant like an SSRI or SNRI or a tricyclic antidepressant. And for bipolar disorder, you look for a, a dosage range about twice that, so maybe 0 0.8 to 1.2 nanograms per milliliter of lithium concentration in the person's blood. Um, we'll talk about side effects and other aspects about lithium treatment in other videos. If you believe this video pertains to you in any way, please be sure to reach out to a mental health professional directly to discuss um, your own care, as these, these videos are just informative only and not meant to be taken uh, as medical advice for anyone out there.